Biden admin approves pressuring jury ahead of Chauvin trial verdict. Did Joe Biden countenance jury pressure to get mob verdict? That's our topic report. And the topic that we're following is still the Derek Chauvin guilty fallout. And there you see, you see Joe, you see, I mean, that, that's about as lucid as, as you're going to get him right there. Pretty lucid, all things considered. And our top link that we're, uh, we're highlighting here is Biden appears to justify pressure on jury in Derek Chauvin trial. And this is from Breitbart there. Uh, let's say from Joe, Joe, Joel L. Pollack wrote this excerpt here. President Joe Biden appeared to justify the public pressure placed on the jury in the trial of former Minneapolis, Minnesota police officer Jarek Chauvin, who was convicted of murder and manslaughter Tuesday in the death of George Floyd. And then we get this from Newsweek. Jenna Ellis says jury influence to make Derek Chauvin pay for the sins of white people. I, I don't know whether that's true or not, but uh, certainly, you know, I'll... I'll I'm not countenancing people rooting for a jury outcome or a verdict because of how it it empowers their faction or whatever narratives that they find themselves embroiled upon. But I would really, (coughs) really caution conservatives uh, in in rushing to judgment of the black community and why it is that the black community might feel such relief that this this verdict happened whether it was just or not i'll let you decide but there has been throughout you it's it's very difficult to deny the long historical pattern which still continues to this day and and i mean we're we're quote unquote systemic racism and i don't mean it in the same way that the 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 dnc deploys that that phrase it's a very invidious phrase the way they use it but in but in in literal terms, in terms of systems that have de facto racist policies, even if they're not on the books. That exists to me primarily amongst the police and amongst the courts. And those are the dealers of death. Those are the ones that have the power of life and death over human lives. That's why it's so impactful on black communities. And so these black communities, they see this, 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 if you're black and you're on trial, you're much more likely to be convicted. You're much more likely to get stiffer sentences. If you're black and you're pulled over by a cop, you're most likely, more likely to get shot by the cop, to have aggression placed upon you by the cop, to have unjust uh, arrest, unjust detainments. And so when they see this, they, they get some degree of relief that, wow, okay, finally, finally justice. And I I don't blame them for feeling this. I mean, I find myself in part. I mean, I I, if Derek Chauvin is not as guilty as maybe he might seem, uh, you know, God have mercy on all of us for for being in error. But I find myself unrighteously feeling that I'm kind of glad that he got convicted just because I want I don't want other human beings to get hurt. And there would be in, in the riots. But. I'm not supposed to uh, support justice or, or support injustice, even if it supports the poor. If it's unjust, we're not going to take, we're not going to choose the poor over anybody else just because they're poor, just because they're disadvantaged. But I am very, very cautious as far as as, as levying frustrations at the black community at, at, at celebrating this verdict. And I would say, if conservatives, if you actually do want to reach black people and convince them that the DNC does not have their best interest, and they don't. Going out against the black community, as I've seen conser- some conservatives do, not a good move, and really not, not, a, not a good, merciful move from a Christian perspective either. I'm not saying that you countenance it. You just do violent, vehemently go against it. You try to offer some measure of, I understand exactly, I don't understand exactly, but I understand why you would feel this way, but I will tell you that in the interest of all, that uh, justice being preserved and having uh, dispassionate objective justice is something that serves the interest of all human beings that are especially the ones that have the least amount of power whether it's because of your race or whatever reason and it's mo- it's, it's partly because of your race it's also mostly because of your economic situation it doesn't it's not it doesn't serve the interest of of we the weak we we the non as i call them citadelian the non-citadelians it doesn't serve our interest to uh, advocate for for dis- anything other than dispassionate justice even when the verdict might not align with our factional interest 
And you can see here it's not going to be enough. Accountability, but not justice. Sanders, Pelosi, Zuckerberg, and other leaders react to Chauvin verdict. This is from MarketWatch.com. Ocasio-Cortez declares Chauvin guilty verdict not enough. It's not justice. From the blaze, she wants the other cops to face the same level, of, the same penalties, which, yeah. I mean, maybe they should face some consequences, but, uh, yeah, I think she wants them all convicted of murder. Silicon Valley tech leaders react to Derek Chauvin guilty verdict. That's from Patch.com. So we, we're, we're increasingly having to rely upon our corporate nationalists to give us our approved political opinions. and. This just helps that, and it's reinforced here by this headline. Sports World hails Chauvin conviction, but adds more work to do to end racism by Reuters. This is, this, this is the same sports world that has been uh, turning to the black, funding the BLM. The BLM is uh, wh whatever you want to call it. And what I, I mean, they're self, self-professed Marxist group, which is fundamentally anti-bill of rights which is the bedrock of america of the american nation state so they're 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 secessionists they're 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 seditionists well they're seditionists at the very well they, they're either secessionists at the very least but really they're seditionists really they're literally calling for the end of the american constitution just by declaring themselves to be quote-unquote marxist now you you might not believe in the american constitution but when we have our our american sports leagues giving bi millions of dollars to the Black Lives Matters organization. Yeah, that's a real problem. Campus presidents, and by the way, the whole Marxism thing, there's so much different, there's so many different Marxisms out there. I don't, I, they're, they're obviously from one of the authoritarian Marxism, but not all Marxisms are the same. Uh, so you, I'll just say you don't sound very, when well, nuanced, I'll say, you don't sound very nuanced if you just, if you just label Marxist bad at everybody's feet. Not that I'm a Marxist, I'm not. I, I, e even the quote-unquote good Marxism, I, I don't favor, but I don't view it in the same way that I do authoritarian Marxism. Campus presidents and professors cheer Chauvin verdict, pledge more anti-racism programs, right? More methods of control. We, we don't want to have free and open societies where we can explore dangerous thoughts. We will, we will define what permissible thought is and use every opportunity to con increase our our corporate nationalist power over 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 the pores and over the over the weak after Jarek chauvin's guilty verdict biden calls on congress to act on police reform that's from mother jones and i put that in because uh, we'll see if that happens we'll see that chance but you never know